Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my temporary house in Barcelona right now. And I wanted to talk about real quick on this book review of the week, the book Smarter, Faster and Better by Charles Duhigg. I hope I'm saying his uh, last name right. Hopefully I didn't butcher it, but it's Charles Duhigg right here. And it's a really, really good book, guys. Uh, it's kind of extensive, but it's really, really good because it will allow you to generate habits and uh, basically how to be productive in life and business and the intake of the author on all of these productivity hacks and tools that you can use every day. So what, what I like about these kind of books, guys, is that I, at the end of the book, like, um, yeah, yeah, pretty much by the end of the book, you have a summary of all of the ideas because this book, it's really intense on ideas and background and also in studies, okay? It has a ton of notes. It has a ton of authors that has helped Charles to actually develop this book, okay? But I, what I like about these kind of books is that they have a summary at the end that will allow you to go through and power through the, um, the ideas on the book. Of course, nothing beats the good old fashioned notebook, okay, with notes, nothing beats that. And one of the tips that you can find in here is that the author will actually tell you that you need to write your stuff down if you wanna keep it in mind. But anyways, let, let's go through my notes real quick, guys, so that you can see what this book is about and why I like it so much. So basically, the author will give you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, types of tips and seven different uh, types of way to keep yourself motivated and how to be more productive, etc. And it starts actually with motivation, okay? How do you keep motivation and how do you keep yourself being self-motivated? You know that we, uh, being entrepreneurs, uh, we really need to keep the flame up and keep the flame burning and keep ourselves motivated. So the best way to keep um, uh, yourself motivated when it comes to the author is to ask yourself why. Why are you doing the things that you do? For example, if I wake up today I am, and I do not feel like you know recording a new video, I need to ask myself why. Why am I doing this? Because I want to help, because I want to grow my authority, because I want to grow my YouTube channel, because I want more subscribers, etc. Okay? So asking yourself the why will allow you to uh, you know quantify things and put them into perspective. Also, when it comes to the mundane day-to-day -day task or something difficult, like a tough decision that you need to take, uh, the author says that taking some kind of small decision will allow you to get back in control. And by that I mean, uh, for example, let's say that you wanna have a tough discussion, and this is an example of the book. Um, if you wanna have a tough discussion or you need to have a tough discussion or a tough talk with somebody, the best way to go is to actually pick the place which, when it's gonna be, okay? Where it's gonna be all the time. That will allow you to uh, exercise some uh, type of control over the task, okay? And you will be more likely to comply with it. The second step or the second idea is goal setting. And basically the author is saying that there are two kinds of goal that keep you moving forward. One is a stretch goal. And by stretch goal, meaning something that seems impossible or really, really hard to attain right now. And that's a goal that you need to be putting uh, yourself to work. However, that doesn't stop there because if you have a stretch goal, you know, uh, and you are asking yourself, how the hell am I supposed to attain something like this? Now, what he will tell you, what the author will tell you is to actually um, narrow down that goal by using SMART goals. And SMART goals are realistic. And the, the, the word SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and with a timeline, okay? So you will have your stretch goal at the top. Let's say that you wanna lose 20 pounds or gain 20 pounds. Then you need to, um, you know, then you need to break down that goal into specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timeline. Uh, with a timeline as well. So when it comes to the third idea is focus. How do you focus yourself on the chore at hand? The best way to do this, according to the author, is to construct mental models or, or to tell yourself a story about how things should be. 
So let's say that you want to give a presentation. Now, the best way to do this, according to the author, is to tell yourself how the presentation is going to be. So you are completely focused on that presentation. Let's say that something something is wrong with the PowerPoint that you put together. Since it's not entirely uh, right according to your mental model, you will notice that uh, that and you will be focused as hell. Now, when it comes to decision thinking, another of the topics that the author go through, uh, the best way to do this is to um, think in probabilities. So what you would do on these cases is to actually think on the probabilistic futures, okay? What's the probability of something happening? Let's say that uh, something uh, has a 50% chance of happening or a 65% of happening. Uh, the author will tell you that you need to think on the future as probable futures. There's no one future, but probable futures. And then once you have that in mind, then you can choose and, and make choices based on those probabilities as well. Then it, it goes through team management, creativity, how to increase your creativity and how to absorb information in a world where information is super, super abundant. Again, guys, this is a really, really, really good book. I really recommend it. It took me uh, probably around a week, okay, uh, to read it, and it's really, really good. Smarter, fed, uh, faster, and better by Charles Duhib, The Power of the Habit. I'm gonna leave a link below so that you can get it as well. Now, I want to ask you something, guys. Tell me what books really moved you forward, what books really help you in your entrepreneurial path. Leave me a comment below. You can also follow me on Snapchat, where I post these books as well. And I'll see you guys on the next book review. Bye-bye.